Top of the afternoon tea, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to do a little taste test comparison. We have small, we have medium, and we have large 70.7 cc's if you do the math of the piston displacement. This saw comes in at 74.7 cc's and the 461 comes in at 76.45 cc's. So I guess essentially this is 74.67 so rounding to the first decimal place it's 74.7. I weighed them on the scales all filled up gas and oil just for kicks. My scales aren't weights and measures accurate of course they're used for comparison purposes. The 461 came in at 17.2 and 17.4 so I'm assuming that means my scale doesn't read in every single tenth. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm going to go with 17.3 on average. The 044, excuse me, 440 technically, it came in at 16.4 consistently. And the 372 with the XPW cylinder assembly came in at 16.8 consistently. So we're using a 30 inch Samora lightweight bar. There's some full comp chain on there. We'll take a look at the elevations of the stops after the first cutting session with the 440. This saw has the probably the Psycho S zip kit with the torque tweak. This saw here is the similar kind of build. Definitely at a disadvantage with the Standard Insano for the most part, maybe an Insano S if you want to go that far along. And it's just given up a lot in work, I guess, technically. Definitely going to be at a disadvantage. This saw also is coming in with the kind of a mid range tune, whereas the two steels are coming in with the torque aspect enhanced. So I'm curious to see how it does haven't run it much yet. My son Jackson's going to help with the tax. I'm super thankful there. And we're going to warm up the 440 and then we'll begin. Oh, <laughs> 
I have mentioned I take my stops down by hand, so there's going to be a little discrepancy here and there. So like I said, that saw is kind of a mid-range tune, it's not really set up to pull a long bar, and it's fairly new in the process, so I wasn't going to tweak the carburation down too far, we ran it a little bit here and there. We've been frozen for quite some time, we've had a couple days where it's warmed up a little bit above freezing during the afternoons. I'm thinking we're dealing with something that's pretty cold, if not frozen, as far as the log goes. Wardrobe change now.
Okay, so there you go. The 461 is going to smoke the other two. I'm not even worried about that. I am curious how the other two compare. We're two levels up on the 440 in the build process, which is quite a bit. Helps out a lot, especially if you do the torque tweak. They're going to be relatively close, I think. And you can see from the tachometer readings that the 372 is running in a different place it's running a lot higher kind of in a mid-range tune situation if you're running a 32 or a 28 or something like that good option I guess the 440 was set up to where it could pull a three-foot bar if it had to in a production application because the guys a timber faller out on the west coast and things being what they are at 5.30 in the morning you'll get a phone call on your way to the job oh yeah you pulled your tools out yesterday didn't you and that was your first day in the bottom of a yarder block um, yeah no the tools are still in the bottom my friend um, didn't pack them out just on a whim I've actually had that happen to me over the years more than once so essentially having a spare is really a good deal and in this case the 440 is going to be used for smaller wood but in the right application in a pinch for a day or two it'll be able to handle a three footer and get the guy through the process the 372 is coming out of Idaho it came in with an interesting concept it had an alternate piston that he wanted to use it wasn't working we put the XPW on it's an old cylinder I had from a long time ago it kind of just been hanging around I guess for quite a few years I was saving it for something else this guy kind of is in a pinch so we set him up with that situation custom dogs with the still-esque chain catcher I didn't really talk about that so I put the super cool tank protector made out of aluminum on there because they've got a chicken wimpy little dust flap that actually will save your tank so I think he's going to be well pleased when that saw shows up on his location and the 461 it's headed over to Washington State he's going to cut some fatty spruce with any luck we'll get to see some of that in action Alright, well thanks for watching this session. Have a blessed day wherever you might be on God's green.